What's up, y'all? I just want to share a few important things about the FTX collapse. I've been in crypto a long time, and by no means do I have any insider information about this stuff. It's just some background coming from a person who's been around for a long time. So, first thing is look through any source you can to get information because it's such an interesting and sad story that's going on. So do your due diligence. That goes for any story about any subject. Now, to begin, it's strange when all the worlds that I'm interested in all seem to collide. I personally have never used FTX, but I've been following Sam Bankman fried or SBF as he's often known, for a long time. He seemed to have it all. Literally, people would call him the white knight of crypto. Kind of like Harvey Dent from The Dark Knight. So, there's a little bit of a Batman connection. As many of you know, I love the Joker. Well, I like Batman too, but I like the Joker way more than Batman. And I'm not going to get off on a tangent on The Dark Knight right now. That's for another day. Let's keep it to FTX. Another reason it's really fascinating is Tom Brady and Giselle, as if things weren't going bad enough for them, they got swept up in this. I can remember Tom Brady being on the FTX commercial, and I'm like, wow, Tom Brady is into crypto. And he had laser eyes, and him and SBF were hanging out. It was awesome. I was so excited. And I know this SBF has been to Congress trying to advocate how important it is to regulate crypto. And he just seemed to have his heart in the right place. And he seemed to have the money to back it up. I can remember Major League Baseball umpires were wearing FTX uh, uniforms. The Miami Heat Arena was named after FTX. It seemed to be a humongous company. I personally have never met anyone who's used the platform, but obviously it's huge. If Sam Bankman fried had over $20 billion in net worth, obviously almost all of it from Alameda and or FTX. You can watch other videos to understand the dis distinction between that. That's a confusing enough story. Many of you probably know Binance is not coming to save the day. Someone else might come. And another level of irony is Voyager, another crypto trading platform that went insolvent earlier this year, was rescued by FTX, they were bailed out by them. And another uh, another exchange called Celsius, Celsius, which is in major financial trouble, was being considered to be bought out by FTX. So FTX had this reputation of being this altruistic company who wanted the best for the whole space. And again, I don't have all the information, but it appears there was a uh, some financial irregularities, to say the least, going on behind the scenes. I don't know the whole story. After I make this video, I'm getting right back into my research so I can find out more for my own sake. Because I don't want this to bleed into all of the other exchanges. And I hope what comes out of this is that there's just a lot more regulation. I know a lot of people are apprehensive about hearing the bad R word, regulation. but so much business goes on offshore of USA. If if American politics would ever get its act together. Now, I know that's asking a lot, trust me. I'm a Canadian, by the way, but I've done business and spent a lot of time in USA, and it's not easy to get things done there with their regulatory system, well, or, for Can or in Canada for that matter. We love USA, we love Canada. And let me also add, I'm sorry to hear all the people who may have been hurt and lost money. There are brighter days ahead. And as many of you know, I'm a huge Link Marine, which means I'm really into Chainlink. And Chainlink can show proof of reserves with many of their smart contracts. I really hope what comes out of this very sad FTX story is that people start to do their own research and the exchanges be a lot more transparent. We need to know proof of reserves. Chainlink is the silver bullet that can solve that. So not financial advice, but those of you who aren't into Chainlink, now is a perfect time to get into it. 
hopefully to use one more dark night uh, reference the night is darkest right before dawn trust me that was accidental that i wrapped it up with a dark night reference peace all the best to everyone out there whether you're into crypto or not be careful and all the best in all of your future endeavors lol now i sound like someone who's laying off someone good luck in your future young man or young woman peace have a great day